Let's head to Ludlow with Philip Dunn. Philip Dunn. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'd just like to echo the words of my right honourable friend, the Chairman of the Liaison Committee. I'm one of those select committee uh, chairs who do not feel that we are able to fulfil our function, not as a bauble of Parliament, as the Leader has just suggested, but because we're unable, for, for medical reasons, to attend. I haven't been able to participate in a debate since the middle of March, and I do not feel that I'm fulfilling my function as a Member of Parliament properly. It was brought home to me only last week, as I'm one of the two current uh, MPs sitting in the House who are members, who are commissioners of the Commonwealth War Graves Committee, Commission, that during the Armistice Day debate on the 11th November, I was unable to participate, despite having asked for a special dispensation from your office, Mr Speaker, which you quite properly were unable to give me. And also last week, had it not been for these, uh, the consequence of these new restrictions, I would have been introducing the only private member's bill that I've ever been fortunate enough to be drawn in the ballot of last Friday. And could I urge my right honourable friend to please give some urgency to his uh, deliberations on introducing this new measure, which I welcome wholeheartedly, to ensure that by the time my private member's bill comes back to this House on Friday the 15th of January, I will be able to deliver it in person. Uh, uh, Mr Speaker, um, I, I completely sympathise with um, my right honourable friend. Uh, it must be very frustrating not being able to participate in the activities of this House, and I hope that the proposals that are being brought forward uh, to help those who are extremely clinically vulnerable will be of, in uh, will be of assistance. Uh, it is important that um, this House actively holds the Government to account and scrutinises it, and the legislative programme uh, is proceeded with, and that is exactly the balance that the Government is trying to achieve with ensuring that scrutiny is properly done, ensuring that legislation is properly debated, but also allowing those uh, who have exceptional difficult circumstances to be able uh, to participate more fully. Um, but it is a balance, and it has been a balance all the way through, as to what can or cannot be provided. And we have had different requests in different directions as to what the resources should be devoted to. Hence the question raised by the um, Honourable Lady, the Member for Bath, uh, as to whether we should close Westminster Hall or not and use the resources for something else. There is always a balance to be struck. Um, 